critical infrastructure. It sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's very real and very important. These systems and assets are essential for the functioning of our society. Think about it. We rely on electricity, water, transportation and communication networks every single day. These systems are interconnected and interdependent. When one fails, the impact can be widespread and devastating. Imagine a major city without power, a country without clean water or a world without internet connectivity. Critical infrastructure is the backbone of our modern world. It enables us to live, work and thrive. It's what allows us to be connected to our loved ones, to access essential services and to participate in the global economy. Without these systems, our lives would be drastically different. However, the very systems that underpin our daily lives are facing unprecedented challenges. Threats to critical infrastructure are evolving rapidly, becoming more sophisticated and more frequent. This is why we need to pay attention. We need to understand the importance of protecting these vital assets. Our safety, our security and our way of life depend on it. Pend. The world is changing rapidly and so are the threats to our critical infrastructure. We are in a digital age. Technology has revolutionized our lives but created new vulnerabilities. Cyber attacks are increasingly common and can devastate critical infrastructure. Imagine a hacker shutting down a power grid or compromising sensitive data. Natural disasters and terrorism also pose significant threats. Protecting critical infrastructure requires addressing both physical and digital threat. We need to work together to build a more resilient future. In the face of these evolving threats, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But the first step to protecting critical infrastructure is understanding the risks. This is where risk assessment comes in. It's a systematic process of identifying potential threats and vulnerabilities. It's about asking questions like what could go wrong, how likely is it to happen, and what would be the consequences. By carefully evaluating these factors, we can start to prioritize our efforts. We can focus on the most critical assets, the most probable threats, and the most vulnerable points in our systems. This risk-based approach is essential for making informed decisions about where to allocate resources and what security measures to implement. Prioritization is not a one-time task, it's an ongoing process that needs to adapt to the changing threat landscape. As new technologies emerge, as attack methods evolve, and as the world around us changes, we need to continuously reassess our risks and adjust our priorities accordingly. Section 4 building resilience, cybersecurity and physical security. Protecting critical infrastructure is not just about preventing attacks, it's also about building resilience. It's about creating systems that can withstand disruptions and recover quickly. This requires a two-pronged approach, strengthening cybersecurity and enhancing physical security. Cybersecurity is about protecting our digital assets from unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction. It's about building firewalls, implementing strong passwords, and educating users about phishing scams. But it's also about staying ahead of the curve, anticipating new threats, and constantly updating our defenses. Physical security, on the other hand, is about about protecting our physical assets from damage or intrusion. This includes things like access control systems, surveillance cameras, perimeter fences and security personnel. It's about making it difficult for unauthorized individuals to physically access critical infrastructure. Cyber security and physical security are not mutually exclusive. They are interconnected and equally important. A robust security posture requires a holistic approach that addresses both digital and physical vulnerabilities. Section 5, Shared Responsibility, a Collaborative Approach. Protecting critical infrastructure is not the sole responsibility of any one entity. It requires a collaborative approach bringing together government agencies, private industry and individuals. We all have a role to play. Governments set regulations and provide guidance. They share threat intelligence and coordinate response efforts. Private companies 
which own and operate much of our critical infrastructure, are on the front lines of defense. They implement security measures, monitor their systems, and respond to incidents. Individuals also have a responsibility to be aware of the threats and to take steps to protect themselves and their communities. By working together, sharing information, and coordinating our efforts, we can create a more secure and resilient future for everyone. Protecting critical infrastructure is an ongoing challenge, but it is a challenge we can meet if we work together. The future of our interconnected world depends on it.